To start a new application, press the refresh button. This is a JavaScript based application web app that allows you to build cascades of X microwave blocks. We focus both on layout and the ability to cascade within the application. So I'm going to press new and now I'm going to create a new application. We have a navigation pane at the top that allows you to quick find a part. You can also drop down a part from a specific category. On the left, we allow you to switch to different viewing modes, turn on and off independent layers, look at different information that might be available. And I'm going to turn off all of these for now and we'll turn them on one at a time later. We can also save and open. And then also we have some automatic tools to help you quickly prototype new designs. Nothing that you've developed in this application are actually saved on our servers. So you're developing locally in this application. You do hit our servers anytime you drop down a new part so that you can pull image information and any parametric data from our database, but your design is actually running locally. And you can save and load those. You can actually save an application in an XMD format and email it to us if you'd like help or need a quote. To start, we'll just grab an amplifier. So I'm going to drop down the Galley 51. It's uh, XM-A111-0404D in the X Microwave library. Now this is an 0404, uh, as you can tell from the extension, which is four grid units by four grid units. This becomes more, more apparent as I drop down a prototyping plate. So I'll just type in proto, which gives me my prototyping plates. First one I'll drag down is a 1616. This is a nickel plated brass plate where each of these holes is tapped. Now this amplifier block, we'll go ahead and look at the layout view, has this uh, ST89 packaging. There is a blocking capacitor, uh, an inductor here, and then VDD is provided through this uh, via right here from the bottom side of the plate. Now the first thing I need to do is interface each of the RF ports. For that, I'm going to go back over to my housing uh, category, and I'm going to grab a probe. So I'll grab a 2.92 millimeter probe, which is SMA compatible. Uh, I'll use Control C and Control V to create a new probe. I'll drop it on top. You'll notice there's a slight overlap, which is where the probe tip makes contact with the RF trace. And then I can connect my connector or my cable to the connector on the probe. Now I'm ready to take a measurement on this part. However, I still need to power it. So for that, I'm going to automatically add a control board. You'll notice that that appeared underneath and there's a spring pin that goes from the bottom side of this bias control board to the VDD port. And then you'll be supplying power to the voltage in on the regulator itself. So I'm ready to take a measurement. Uh, I just apply power. You can also reference power by clicking the power tab. This is a seven volt part. So the uh, seven and a half volts would be supplied to the regulator below because there's about a half a volt overhead required for that regulator. I'm gonna turn power back off. I can also look at my bomb. Here are all the parts that I use, A111. The A2K1 is the bias controller. The PB1 is two of the probes. The PP2 1616 is the 16 by 16 prototyping plate. And I can also press, press export this CS and that will give me a, a more detailed description of everything that I used in my diagram. So you'll notice that I have my part number, I have the category, the quantity, the manufacturer, the feature part, the board number. Uh, a small description if it's included, as well as price and then total price. And this can be emailed to us at X Microwave if you'd like to uh, have this formally quoted. Now, one thing we didn't speak to is the size of this. So we'll reference the uh, housing. We also put a ruler and a quarter so that you can see size. So this 0404 block is 0.135 inches per X microwave unit. So this is 4.54 inches by 0.54 inches, which is about half the diameter of the US quarter. Now with this design, we can also cascade blocks. So the amp might be useful uh, with a filter afterwards. 
So I'll grab a bandpass filter. We'll grab the first bandpass filter, the A126. This is a 1.5 uh, 25 gigahertz bandpass filter, centered bandpass filter from uh, many circuits as well. And I need to connect these with RF interconnect so I can go ahead and just add the GSG. You'll notice that it added two anchors and it added one GSG jumper across that launch. Uh, if I am editing, usually I'll click delete GSG, I'll also delete my control boards, and I'll just focus on the RF side. Now, the next thing I might do is I'll remove my probes, I'll remove my plate because I might want to put this in a housing. So I can go over here to my or a housing category, drop down an 0604 housing. This drops right into a housing. I can also grab SMA connectors that would go on the outside. I'll drop down my right SMA connector. I'll use Control C, Control V to copy and paste. I press R two times to rotate. You can also double click to rotate as another option, or I can use the R key. Now I still need to add my control board, so I'll add control, and then I'll add my ground signal ground jumper. Now this isn't all the costs of this housing because there's some feed through capacitors, and if we're building it, there will also be a small charge for uh, test costs, but we'll also provide test data. But in general, if you did order this and the current piece parts that are shown, it's about $400. Uh, my guess is that if you ordered this in piece parts, it'd be about $450 once you had the other accessories and whatnot that are required to fully build up your housing. But again, you can export this as a CSV file and email it to us, and we can provide dimensional drawings for these housings. Uh, and this is a production-ready assembly uh, as it's configured here, which is pretty awesome. I can also turn off my drop-on or my housing, my drop-ins, I can turn off the plates, I can turn off the drop-ons, uh, and I can just look at the control board. Now when I'm using this control board, right here is my power in tab. This is where I would solder a wire and provide 7.5 volts to power the device. Go ahead and turn these other items back on. And so I've built my first uh, mini IMA, or connectorized custom connectorized module using the X microwave system. To learn more about what we're doing here, visit xmicrowave.com for our latest videos or to browse our product catalog.